Hello and welcome to my webinar jam review where what I'm going to be doing is walking you through how to pretty much set up a webinar with webinar jam and of course talk about the pros and the cons webinar jam also comes with the ability to get a $1 trial which you might not know about I will put the link down below in the description where you can check that out and also show you how you can acquire that towards the end of the video let's get started so first and foremost, what I really like about Webinar Jam is that there's going to be two ways that you can set up your webinars. You can use the express configuration where literally it's going to be ready in less than 60 seconds. It's simple and quick and it's based on smart defaults. Or if you want to go with the full configuration, it's going to take a little bit longer, but you're going to get more flexibility and power out of it based on your custom settings. Let's go with the express configuration first. So what we can do is go for right now, schedule for later or always on. Just for the sake of this example, I'm going to just go with right now. Let's click on next. And of course, we have a lot of our basic settings. Give me a second. And I'm just going to enter in the information here. Okay, so I entered in some information, the webinar name, the title, the description. I'm already going to be the presenter. So I'm going to click on confirm and finish. And just like that, your webinar has been successfully created. Now, like I said, they weren't kidding when it comes to getting up and running extremely quickly. This is going to be like, I want to get a webinar up now. I don't want to think about it too much. Let's just open up the presentation, get started and go from there. So that's going to be the fast way of doing it. And of course, what you can do is look at the links, run a test and so on and so forth. So that's going to be a little bit of the process when it comes to creating a webinar that's very quick. So let's now click on add webinar and take a look at the full configuration, which takes a little bit longer, but we get more flexibility and power out of it. Once again, I'm just going to go with right now. You can always schedule for later or do always on. And if you're familiar with uh, Webinar Jam or EverWebinar, they run in a similar way, which is great. It's uh, owned by the same company. So Webinar Jam is for the live webinars and EverWebinar is going to be for the automated ones. Uh, I also did a review about them in case you want to check that out. What I'm going to do here once again is just enter in similar information. So give me a sec. Okay, so just some random text here to have some placeholders. Uh, you can upload a webinar thumbnail to display for social media if you like. You can keep your webinar private or you can put it on their on-demand portal where you can actually get some more traffic. But anytime you're utilizing the settings, you want to make sure you click on the confirm when you're done. Next, we have webinar presenters, which we're familiar with. That's going to be for me. Obviously, you can add the full name and email address, uh, moderator or presenter in terms of the user role, confirm. And of course, the streaming service, this is going to be a big one. Uh, there's going to be Webinar Jam Live. It's our cutting edge private broadcast network, simple and secure. You can use YouTube Live or Facebook Live just for the sake of going through. Let's click on one there and click next. So when it comes to schedules and a few of these things, we're not going to need to configure too much. As it says right here, there's no need to configure any schedule for this webinar as a right now webinar will simply open the webinar room for you as soon as the configuration process is completed. So not only can you get a webinar up and running very quickly, you can still do it quickly, but adding a few more bells and whistles. Like before we talked about how it took probably a minute or less, this is going to take a few more minutes, but you can really customize more of the inner aspects of the webinar when it's live. For example, example, like the offers, maybe handouts, polls, and so on and so forth. So there's not going to be as much to do just because I chose that. Uh, password protection, if you want to utilize that. Notifications, once again, similar thing here. Let's run through the integrations, uh, as you might be curious about. So Kartra, Aweber, ActiveCampaign, Infusionsoft, iContact, Entreport, GetResponse, MailChimp, ConvertKit, Drip, Zapier, which is big because that integrates with a lot of things, Constant Contact, and of course, Meripost. Aside from that, there's going to be third-party tracking. This is like Improvely, Facebook Pixels, maybe Click Magic if you have something like that. They also show you how to utilize that if needed. Let's go to next. Thank you page once again, since it's right now, we don't need to set that up. And this is going to be where all the like editing and customizing is going to be. So if we go to each section like autoplay, uh, you can keep it muted. You can display it depending on what you want to choose, obviously. Next, we have the live room design. So not a whole lot going on there. But if you want a lighter or darker color based upon like you can have red, orange, blue, really going to be up to you on that one. Polls and quizzes. So if you're planning to run any survey or quiz, this is going to be good for you. Product offers most likely is what you're going to be wanting utilizing if you're selling anything. Very simple to do. It's more about following the steps as I've done throughout this webinar jam review. You're going to name your offer, give it a headline, an image is going to be great. Like if you have a bundled package of something, whether it's a course or a training, that always helps. You can add text above it, text inside, and of course the button link. So when they click here, it's going to go say to the checkout page or maybe to some testimonials or maybe you're doing coaching that would be perfect for like a breakthrough call where they can sign up and so on and so forth you can broadcast sales in real time which is pretty cool so when someone purchases 
purchases, it'll bring that like kind of buzz and hype up where being, hey, if this person's purchasing, I think I want it too, you know, so on and so forth. You can apply scarcity in your offer and you can apply urgency in your offer as well. So there's a lot of perks when it comes to things like that. Video or injections are cool. I'll read this quickly. It allows you to play a video clip midway through your presentation. The system will seamlessly switch from your live video audio signal to the video signal and back to live when the video is over. Pre-configure your video injections now so you can play them at any time during your live broadcast with the click of a button. We also have file handouts. This is important. A lot of times people will say like, hey, if you stay to the end of this, I'll give you the slides. I'll give you a PDF. I'll give you a free training. This is a good spot for that. And of course, slide presentations. If you're planning to run a slide presentation during your webinar, you might want to pre-configure it now. That's where you can utilize that. That's going to be pretty important because usually you're probably not always going into a webinar with like just not doing anything, right? Let's click on next. Then of course, we have the webinar recording for replay. If you want that, you can not allow it. You can allow it, it's going to be up to you. And last but not least, let's click on next. And that would pretty much be the process when it comes to doing the quote unquote longer way of setting up a webinar. Yes, of course, I did go through like the doing it quickly and having it go right now. So a few of those settings aren't going to be added in. For example, like registration page, which is pretty standard and simple. I've always talked about the simpler the registration page, the better. Just make it as easy as possible for attendees and visitors to sign up. But overall, that was a very quick walkthrough and demo when it comes to Webinar Jam. Let's take a look at the pricing. So as I talked about before, you can actually get a $1 trial for Webinar Jam, which is great to be able to test this out. So if you check out the link down below, scroll down the video right here and click on the Get Started button. It might say something else, but that's ideally where you want to go. And once you arrive to the pricing page, if you're on desktop, take your mouse and scroll to the top of the page. And as you can see, it says for a very limited time, get Webinar Jam for $1 and you can click on the Yes, Start My Trial button. So by doing that, that's how you can get a trial first as opposed to paying for it and going from there. But but they offer a wide variety of pricing plans, which I'm just going to finish off by keeping these on the page so you can kind of glance over them while I talk. Overall, there are a lot of great things when it comes to Webinar Jam. They are a very reputable company. They've been around for a very long time. They've been good at making updates, adding features, which they just did recently. Uh, they're very easy to set up. It's step by step. It's very simple. I don't see anything in there as being too advanced in terms of like setting up your registration pages, even though I didn't get to walk you through in this one because it was a quick webinar at our demonstration. But it's really great that they have a lot of cool features that allow you to get up and running very quickly. Because I know sometimes webinars can be scarier, like, oh, this is going to be my first one. Or even if it's your second or your 20th one, sometimes you get a little nervous. But the ability to just kind of set it up quickly, don't think about it, run from there and go is going to be, in my opinion, very helpful. So if you want to check out Webinar Jam, the link will be down below in the description. Don't forget about the ability to get that $1 trial. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope this review helped you out.